they'll be calling you a radical. We're going to go for a little walk and a little drive. And if you don't think my activism matters, I'm going to show something to you. Yeah, I'm going to show you something. Yeah, you know where I'm at, you people that have been following along. That's Energy Solutions dump site. That's the burn facility there. Clear out across there is the other burn facility. They burn all kinds of toxic shit. This is the where they were set up. You fuckers have went right on. You've load right up. They'll pull the box car. Come load you right into the box car. We're gonna go for a little drive. I'm gonna show you something. And we're gonna talk about the metaphorical significance. And you know, it's like one thing. This guy early in the vlog days come to me. Oh, I'm this Mormon expert. I get these. I'm these Mormon. One thing. I know nuclear like no other. I know finance. I told you I never. The one thing I know more than both combined. Mormon history. I'm like, oh, dude, did you try to pick on the wrong fucking dude? I'll eat your fucking lunch three times over. Everybody around here knows I am the walking, living, breathing Mormon historian. I'm Balco. Not what the Mormons posture it wanted to be. Not what the haters want it to be, because that's divided up on both sides. Oh, no, in reality, you know they were ranging the cattle here. This is the Energy Solutions dump site right here radioactive from hell what are you doing out here kevin you shouldn't be in radio where the fuck are you at there's no hiding let's go for a drive i want to show you something by the way i'm going to show you too also where honda right here the first case where the people were come off the i'll show you where they were murdered they couldn't hit the brakes and they plowed into the mountain and it killed them and by the way they took a settlement now the settlement for the Marines, I told them to fuck off on their settlement. Because you aren't going to replace my loved ones with money. That's what they did. So Toyota, the very first case was going right here. I knew the people. I knew the people very well that were killed in that horrific accident. Their loved ones take a big check. Well, what does that do when you take the big check? It just kicks the can like Alice said in the Battle of Chernobyl. The worst thing to come out of that Chernobyl reactor was not plutonium, was not cesium, it was lies. Don't take the check. Tell them to fuck off and let it play out through court. That's the important part of the USS Reagan here in San Diego. The place my activists, that's the important part. That's why I need someone to fucking, I want to sue these fuckers for giving me leukemia for I was born in food because Fukushima gave so many of us, killed so many of us. You know, come on, you lazy piece of shit attorneys. You don't think my activism works? Let me show you something. Oh, did I raise some shit on this? You guys know, you guys watched along. Let's go for a ride. Okay, come on. This is where their sh camp was set up. This is where they were docking them and branding them. You saw my videos. Right here, right here. Oh, come on, let me show you birds something. I'll show you the metaphorical significance to you. People that think you're history buffs, that think you're, you don't know shit. Because you're fucking trapped in your basement. And I want to say this too. They don't play nice. The passive-aggressive fuckers don't play nice. Why do we play nice? I don't play fucking nice. These passive-aggressive hairspray... It's like this fucker on Facebook. These fuckers come to me on Facebook. Say, I'm Literally, I'm an exec... Or whatever they call them on Facebook pages. Let me put on my seatbelt. Sorry. Keep them motherfuckers. But, uh... They come to me... I don't even know I'm one of their so-called administrators. I have no idea. From what I found out, I guess I'm administrator on hundreds of Facebook pages. They don't ask me that, and then they come back and say, oh, we, we don't like your style, so we removed you. What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking lunatics? The passive agree, they're not your friends. Popular opinion is not our friend. Contemporary culture is not our friend. They Because they want to justify their madness justify their lazy inaction, their lazy, lazy choice to be ignorant. They want to justify it. You know, let the fucking earth end. Oh, I justified everybody. The Illuminati did this. Paul, I'm done blaming politicians. I had a guy call me from New fucking Jersey yesterday. Going off. We got to get these fuckers out of office. I says, well, who's your congressman? You know, I know who the congressmen are in his district. Who's your senator? Well, I don't know. Well, then why are you fucking bitching about politics? I'm done talking bitching about politicians. It's a pat I learned my lesson. When I put up that video, nobody in the fucking world would even know that video existed. If fucking, I call it the Pax and Blanche fucking tapes. 
sex lies and videotape oh boy oh boy is this sex lies and videotape okay let's stop right here first show you guys something now why is this so historically significant I'll tell you why right here Hastings was a lying motherfucker he wasn't out here this is where the cows were drinking this is not a natural spring it's the byproduct water coming off the argonite plant clean harbors you know what they're fucking burning right there you got any fucking clue oh I fucking do Okay, it's such an ironic metaphor. Hastings was a lying fuck. 1846, the fucking Reeds had a fucking big, yeah, believe it or not, there were covered wagon, luxury covered wagons. The elitists, well, they were gonna cheat like they always wanna cheat. Hastings says, oh, I can save you fucking three to six weeks. Cut you across the fucking salt flats here. When he was lying his fucking ass off. He was lying. So everybody's going the long route. They took the shortcut. They got stuck in the fucking mud here. That's 1846. Halloween. We know what happened to Donna Party. And they, f they killed a bear early on and didn't share the fucking bear with the rest of the fucking people. And they fucking begin to eat their fucking own. Well, the next year, 47, here come the Mormons out. They're in Wyoming, Nays Monument. I'll go up there and do a piece. And by the way, to all you fucking Mormons, you better check out who my bloodlines are. Without my, I mean, Abraham Hansek of the fourth is my grandfather himself. I would be Abe the sixth if my mom was a boy, I always tell her. You know, and they didn't believe in leaving inherited wealth, by the way. They did not leave my mom or anybody one dime. They didn't believe in it. They were like the Buffett thesis. They didn't believe in the royal system. But without him, the first, there is no Mormon fucking church. And they were amazing, wonderful people. Not what these hairsprayed, masqueraded, lying fuckers are now. These mass murdering fucking devils in hairspray is what they are now. You know, and I'm not a fan of Joseph Smith. I think he was a liar, pedophile, fucking rape artist, you know. But I can get into this in a deep way. I'm talking about the facts, not fucking yay or nay. I don't want to even dive into that fucking bullshit because I don't give a fuck. So they come out. That name's Monument. They're behind the fucking Donners. Hastings lying to them. They had to cut timber all the way through immigration because Hastings told them it was clear. It wasn't fucking clear. Lying con man. You don't think my activism works, I'm the one that got the cows out of here. By the way, the rancher, for the most part, the one person I, that knows the rancher told me to say thank you, because he was being exploited. Is it BLM? No, it's contemporary culture. It's, I don't blame politicians anymore, I really don't. I blame the populace, I've learned my lesson on this vlog. When I reported that video, which I did it properly, I've all done all this properly, and the people that are supposed to support me, the keyboard activists and whatever, the glee club, they turned on me. I, we saved all the comments, we saved all the comments. We had a, my small army of credible activists says, okay Kev, I'm, I says I'm gonna go with it, it is what it is, it's real, and I'm gonna report it, because I know that four has been on fire the whole time anyway. I'm not gonna report anything new. But I report it, and then we're going to watch what everybody comments and says that are supposed to be on our team. And our small army went to work, and we saved every comment. Dana, beautiful girl, come out and supported me. Not away, who I, I mean, he's great. He came out and supported me. The rest didn't. You know, so, and we watched. They were going to say, who is watching you, Kevin? Within seconds, all the major vlogs and blogs in the country were out. None of them supported me. None of them. You know? Because even when it's fucking right in your face and the truth, they don't give a fuck. The spring right here, that's Energy Solutions dump site. That's where the San Onofre fuck things, we were out there. San Onofre's generator where they're not supposed to have hot west. The big balloons, you can see them out there. They've taken those down recently. Those are the Radnet balloons. They're not supposed to have hot waste out here. They've reported three hot waste incidents in the last 18 months. This is not a natural spring. The water comes directly out of the fucking plant and the cows were drinking out of it. And I caused a lot of shit because I have conversations with my politicians. Cordial conversation. Governor Herbert knows me. Mike Lee knows me. All of them, I disagree 100% with the masquerade part. I can't fucking stand them. But I, I talk in a very diplomacy way to them. In an intelligent way to them. You know, and I get things done. These cows are the fuck out of here. Rightfully so. Of course, they in the food chain yet? Was the damage done? Absolutely it was damage was done. But does that mean we quit? Clean Harbor's right there. Their burn plant just smoking us. You don't think my activism, man, 
the oligarch's melon is fucking dying right now. These fuckers are eating their own Steve Chinese jobs. This is the great equalizer. People don't understand Fukushima is the great fucking equalizer. It's a giant, giant, giant fucking story. The Manhattan Project gone amok. You know, I'm all over this thing. Sweet are the uses of adversity because the cancer fight, yeah, I was squarely focused on the death of my father, the fucking human guinea pig nuke marine. You know, my growing up on this landscape, on this used cattle ranch with these incredible, incredible, you know, early Mormons who pushed handcarts across that desert. They weren't these fucking hairsprayed masquerade party fucking Ed Smart fucking, you know, get rich off the rape of his own daughter, bring a fucking creepy ass fucking 50 homeless people in the house with young daughters because you're too fucking cheap. Oh no, oh no, they were not that. They were not, they were the opposite. They were communal, they were loving. The United Order fuckers, look it up. Were they socialist? Big time, borderline communists, commune, commune. They were communists. They shared everything, you know, and the ones that raised me, yeah, they were bad ones and good ones just like anything else, but when I grew up here, they were loving, communal, wonderful people, and they surely were not passive-aggressive. What you saw is what you get. Contemporary culture is not our friend. The passive-aggressive keyboard activists, you know, there's a lot of good ones out there that are freak, but they don't play fucking nice. Passive aggressive fucking hairsprayed masquerade party. They're the evil of the evil. You know, go get back right in their fucking face. You know, do it cordially, do it intelligently. That's what I've done. But I got the fucking cows the fuck out of here. I did. I've got them out. So hopefully they won't come back because they eat their own. Stay in tuned.